Hello, good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Reality Tomorrow with Susie. I hope everybody's had a lovely week. It's been a bit of a crazy week with all the sad news on TV, but you know what? Let's move away from that for a while. We're going to have an interesting show tonight. I've got two lovely guests, and first of all, with me, I have Wally Remis. Hi, Wally. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Susie. <laughs> My name is Wally Anifo <laughs> Remus is easier to say. <laughs> and also, I have my lovely friend, Simi, with me. Hi, Simi. Hi, Susie. How are you guys? Fine. Ready for this topic? Definitely. As Good. Ready, as ready as we can be. You need to be. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Today's topic is, what is love? Love can be so many things, depending on who you are. Now, I'm going to start off by saying my definition of what is love because somebody actually asked me this question today and I said well you know what wait for the show to come live and then I'll explain my definition of love and I've been sitting down trying to perfect my definition of love I don't know if I got there but this is it now to me love is an emotion that we as human beings we have no control over it's something that just comes over you from nowhere and Maybe there's something that um, in a person that you can't see, but it draws you to them and that you have that feeling. Now, for me, I feel love can either be a positive experience or a negative experience, mm. depending on the response you get back from someone. Also, how you love depends on your experiences of life from when you were in the womb, I believe. And I believe that you could have, as a child, you could feel rejection. It doesn't mean that necessarily you're going to reject people. It doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to go searching for love. It could mean at times that you go searching for the wrong type of love because you just want any form of love. So guys, that's my definition of love. Now let me just say, before we go into the topic, it's a live and interactive show. So guys, the number's going to be scrolled at the bottom of the screen sorry so please ring in and give us your views on what is love do you know what i'm gonna do they usually say ladies first but i'm a lady so i can say gents first <laughs> i'm a gentleman and so you're I a gentleman i say ladies first oh god <laughs> that's such a cop out <laughs> that is such a major cop out but you know what we're gonna let him get away with it simmy what do you think love is um i think love is an emotion that um makes you feel happy at times, makes you feel sad, depending on what's happening. I think it's very much, um, it's about having a relationship with someone or a situation, and it's about relating to another person. Um, it can take over your life, it can take over your emotions, um, it can make you happy and it can make you sad. That's what I think love is. Well, thank you for that. Now it's time to go to the gent. Mm. Wale, what's your definition of love? Well, I don't even know where to start. Babes, just start from the beginning. <laughs> Where's the beginning? <laughs> jealousy. Jealousy? I said jealousy. Oh, Jenna. No, 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 let's not go for the Bible. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, hold on. Can I just sit Every, down comfortably? Uh, Can I sit down comfortably? It ain't going to be a long <laughs> bit. Go well, on. every person has a different idea of what love means yeah mm -hmm. um to somebody doing certain things in a certain way mm -hmm. is their idea of love expression why are you laughing i'm not the way the way that people express <laughs> their love yeah is determined um by the way they see life yeah yeah um the way that they have lived their life. Mm -hmm. Now, people, let's see, people think, uh, hmm. <laughs> it's a, it is a tough one. I would say, okay, how do, how do people feel one. when they're in love? Because I think that's an easier way to, you know, define what but love see, actually but is. But you see, I think when you talk about how do people feel, it's so different because on that scale, you have people who are so relaxed in love and you have people who become 
drastically crazy and bunny boilers and, <laughs> you know, some people kill for love. So it's kind of hard when you talk about how people feel, although I feel you can relate it to what Remis just said about people's experiences in life. Yeah. But I've always said that emotions are something that you can't control. Because you might see someone and think, oh, I can't stand that person. And then you spend time with the person, and before you know it, you're in love. Yeah, well, it means so, your perception of that person was wrong in the first place. But then also, how about that person has everything about them that you don't like, but there's something that draws you to them, and then you find yourself falling in love with that person, although there is so much. OK, an example when you say that. Someone who is being abused by someone. Yeah. An example, I'm not going to go domestic violence route. I'm going to go this, um, this thing about kidnappers and sometimes their captives fall in love with them. Well, that, Yeah, that but that's a different. syndrome. That's a syndrome, isn't no, it? No, 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 but they fall in love, whether it's a syndrome sure? or not. Yeah, it's they been known. It's been known that even though they've held them in captivity, they, they still can fall in love with they, them. They grew on them. Yeah. And this is a person you wouldn't have liked in the first place. But that's I? Stockholm Syndrome. That's, 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 that's about that's survival. Different. That's it's still different. a form. It is still a form of love. They've fallen in love with them. Yeah, so it's still a form of love. I'm not too sure if I would call that love, actually. I wouldn't call that love. They had, they, in, but then what in is such love? Instance, they, they don't have no choice. They had no choice. And does they, that were, mean... they were stuck in that situation for quite a while. Yeah, and that's why it's called yeah? Stockholm Syndrome. So does that for mean... Quite a while, and after a while, <laughs> they just get used to it. And then it doesn't seem as bad as it was when it first started. So what about where you have some other people that will always have that feeling of hate for their captives, even if their captives are nice to them? Because they haven't related to that person. It's no, but they're still stuck. Let's put it this way. They are still stuck in that same situation, remember? Yeah. Mm. But the thing about it is, like, if somebody is in that captive situation and, and they've moved into the Stockholm Syndrome, it's about their survival, it's about, it's about their, their feeling of vulnerability and it's about the way that they feel that they can survive, is to kind of like transfer that kind of emotion over, you know, into loving that person. And then other people kind of like fight it and they continue the fight. So it's yeah. about, and the continuum of the fight is also about the person surviving. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that's, but that, that isn't love. That's a false experience. That, that is about you know what I mean? staying no. alive. Yeah. No, doing wait, what listen, you need to there do. There have been, you True. guys are saying that, but I remember reading one story about a lady. It's somewhere, if you Google it, you will find it. But after the guy was imprisoned for, for, the, offense. for the kidnap, he okay. was imprisoned. After him being in prison for a period of time, she started visiting him. And then they actually, when he came out of prison, she waited for him. And then he came out and they, they, became, they were in a relationship. She needs counselling. So no, no, no. But they were in a good relationship. But she needs because, counseling. Wait, hold on. The guy changed. He turned his ways around and he changed. And they had a good relationship. What do you call that? You say it's counselling. I, I think she needs right, counselling. No, no, yeah. I think she needs counselling. Right, no, no, Remus has just said something there. Remus, give that to me again, please. That's, That's a what? Aberration. What's that? It means that is something out of the, no, the, uh, the normal. Yeah. Not, normal. That's not normal. But then it's yeah, become normal. I'd agree normal. with that. But then you're saying that, but I mean, I don't know them personally. But from what I read, it became normal because he was remorseful for what he got himself caught up in. Mm -hmm. And he changed his ways and he just wanted to come out of prison and live a normal life. And that was one of their conditions, that if they were to stay together, blah, blah, be, blah. And that is what happened. Ways. Yeah. yeah. What I meant was that particular instant yeah. or instance is an aberration. It doesn't happen every day. Oh, no, it doesn't happen yeah, every so day. That's why that's, it's not um, something that everybody knows about. Yeah, yeah. but it's still love. In the end, it ended yeah, up as love. It's not for us to define. Well, it is. It it's, is. But, but it's not for us to love. define that that's not love no, for no, them. No, exactly. So it did end yeah. up as love. But okay, let's look at it this way. Why do some people fall in love? With? With whoever. With whoever. whoever. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> with whoever and are happy in love, and some people fall in love and are not happy. Who's going to. They me. fall in love and yeah. they are not happy. Yeah. 
they but, stopped. But they stay not there, even though, yeah. After a while. Yeah. It means the initial um, holiday period or the honeymoon, honeymoon period yeah. mm. has actually ended. It means there's some things that they never knew when they started the relationship, mm. yeah, that started to transpire or to manifest after a while. Yeah. And those things um, were now get stronger, away those. yeah, stronger than the feeling of love of them staying together, of yeah. them being together. Mm -hmm. So they're, mm -hmm. they're stronger. Yeah. Um, when there are too many negatives, mm. it doesn't it doesn't balance up. Yeah. So too much stress, too much this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. You do this. You do that. After a while, it's a downhill slope. Mm. Simi, what do you think of it? Um, I actually think that it means that they're not a good match. Um, they didn't, you know, what happens is when you meet somebody and you like somebody so much, you yeah. you do see their faults. You know, I mean, it's usually the faults that you see on the day, day one is the yeah. fault that's going to break you up at the end of the day. But you assume that you can cope with the faults. You you assume you that, that assumption you, that yeah, that it's going to be right. okay. Yeah. But those kind of things, because they're not, what you ideally want in the first place, they do become an issue because you can't change somebody. Yeah. So I actually think that we're not very honest with each other when we enter a relationship. I think very much that... What, do you... Most people are I, everywhere. I think, I think most people are not honest with themselves and they're not yeah. honest with what they're looking for. So you meet somebody and you like that person and that person ticks most of the boxes and you're not... You know, you can't have everybody being perfect. There's no way something. Nobody perfect. can tick all the boxes. They can't pick, tick all the boxes. Yeah. So you hope that the boxes that they don't tick are going to be okay. Yeah. But what happens is that some of those boxes that you don't tick and you don't think are your priority yeah. become, become a really big issue. Issues. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I agree with you. So how about... <clears throat> now, what I want to kind of um, understand a bit is, how about when you see people in love with someone that doesn't tick any of the boxes, well, but yet... How would you know that the person doesn't tick any boxes? Well, okay, maybe they tick some boxes. You're quite there, Remis. Maybe they tick some boxes, but they're not making them happy, but they still stay in love. So an example for me is someone going through... Um, domestic violence. So they have this man mm. who, you know, is beating them, making them miserable day in and day out, making them feel unsafe, but they still stay in love with that person. I don't think they will still stay in love with that person. But I've heard so many occasions whereby, because there was a time I was working with domestic violence victims, and one question I used to say was, you know, one question you end up asking is, why, why are you saying? So and I, you I always get, person. yeah, you always get. It's because the, the idea of love yeah. is skewed. <laughs> the idea of love it is skewed. I, I was but, reading, I was I reading some, that. well, I was reading something a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether it was a joke or not, but this woman said she doesn't know why every, every other woman is complaining um, about their men. When your man stops beating you, yeah, then it means he's not in love with you no more. Um, that's, that's what the woman said. Oh, yeah, I put that. <laughs> I put that, yes, I'm like, yes, yes. What's yes. she talking about? Yeah. Well, that, that, but then that's her honest opinion. Yeah, that's but, how, she, how she feels. But Remus, you just said something just now. Let me get that word right. Skilled. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Skilled. You just said that the person's idea of love is skilled. But who are we? to judge someone's idea of love? Who are we to decide that, for that person, it's love, so why is mm. it not love? Yeah, Simi, yeah. do you? I, I, I get what you're saying. I, you do, you know, you can't determine what's <laughs> right for somebody thinking. else. No, no, no. You, can't, you can't determine. I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you. You can't okay. determine what's right for somebody else. You yeah. can only determine what's right for, for you. you. So therefore, that person living in that domestic violence situation and accepting that situation and accepting whatever is going on, yeah. um, and saying, well, I love him, they have determined that they're prepared to live within that situation and they're prepared to 
continue that relationship and that relationship has given them what they need. So you can't determine for that person. You can only determine for yourself. Um, you know, for me, it's about that person meeting my needs and me meeting their needs. You know, but not every one <clears throat> of your needs. Well, nobody can ever meet every single need. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you have that's a really good relationship. True. Wait, it's hold, true. Wait, hold on, Simi, Simi. Let's take true. this back to Remis now. Remis reckons that somebody can meet all your needs, Remis. <laughs> right? That's rather scary, actually. Can I ask you a personal question, Remis? Depends. Depends well, on what? If I have a choice to answer <laughs> it or not. No, you can say no. You can you can decide okay, not to answer. Go. Have you? And um, I don't want to cause any friction outside the show with this, but I just want to ask. You, <laughs> you better think about it then. Uh, oh, I, I don't. Think, okay, you comfortable? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever met anyone that has met all your needs? Because where you say it's possible, I get the feeling that you've experienced it. So have you ever met anyone that has ticked all your boxes mm. and met all your needs since <clears throat> you say it's possible? The, the first question would have been, do I have boxes that I want people to think? No, oh, Remis, come sorry, on. but that's not my first no. question. My first question that's is, Remis, out. do you have someone who has ticked all your boxes? Let, let this right now. <laughs> well, since there are no boxes to tick. Remis, we're talking about, you know, Remis, stop being difficult. Do you know what? This is, <laughs> this is my... Um, Greatest nightmare with Remis. When I, I was thinking question, about it. He's going to twist that question for me. So okay, let, I let, get confused. Let, let me make it easy. Let's imagine that there are yeah, boxes, Remis. Me, what we're talking about now is yes. characters. The, the answer, Some, okay, yeah. the answer is yes. You have met that person. Yes. Are you still with that person? No. So what happened? Life. Because at the end of the day, they ticked all your boxes. Now to me, yeah, but then, if I meet they someone... My they did, did, did you my tick boxes. their boxes? Oh, you never ticked their boxes. Oh. Aha. Oh, you threw me there. They see? see, two sides of the coin. Oh, there are two sides. He's quite right there. But then I wonder, because that's where we go into the part that we were talking about when we were on the phone to me, soulmates. Yeah. Can you, well, first of all, I'm going to say, what is a soulmate? For me, a soulmate is a person that you feel you relate to, that you can relate to, that gets you, you know what I mean? That yeah. gets, that understands all your bad behaviour, inverted commas, and understands all your good behaviour. So Why is your bad behaviour in inverted bad be commas? Well, inverted commas because, you know, <laughs> like, I'm quite a mischievous person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to some people, that would be a pain. But to some people, they'd find it a real laugh. It's a blessing. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I love my behaviour. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. You know what I mean? Uh, I love my behaviour. Mischievous behavior. part of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but to some people, they might think, oh, just grow up kind of thing, you yeah. know? So it, that's why I said in inverted commas. Yeah. You know? But some people, they find that really hilarious and they find it exciting. It ticks their boxes. It ticks their boxes, mm -hmm. you know. I suppose the other thing is about the fact that um, I think I'm quite intelligent. You know what I mean? I think so. Hello? And if you don't think you're intelligent, <laughs> don't wait for somebody else to think you're intelligent. No, no, I definitely think you I'm are intelligent. intelligent. And I do think I give people a run for their money. You know. No, no, I know. Exactly. You I'm actually know being you nice are. enough to say think, really. No, don't be nice. Just but say it as it is. I know that I'm intelligent and is I know it? I can give most guys a run for their money. Verbally. Guys, did you hear that? Yeah, Harry, I know I can. Be I ain't very got no afraid. Issue about she it. will give you a run for your money. <laughs> be very, very afraid. So I like that. I know that some guys they find that difficult they find that grating Not yeah intimidating, intimidating yes. grating whatever they find mm -hmm. that but then some guys they find it quite exciting and quite a turn on so therefore you know um whatever boxes i'm ticking for that yeah. person that's fine by me so that person then becomes your soulmate as long as they're ticking the same boxes right it has to be both sides not just one no, it has to but be. But that is it. That is the special thing about soulmates. So it's like in your situation, the lady ticked all your boxes. Now, if you ticked all her boxes, you that would does. be soulmates. Yes, but that does not, that does not guarantee that that relationship would not end. Is that love? Yes, it is. Is that it is love, love yeah? But it is not a guarantee that that relationship would not end. That is very true. I agree with you there. Yeah, because life happens, things happen. It's got nothing to do with being soulmates or not. Yeah. But um, it's the ability yeah. um, to withstand quite a lot of things and go with 
whatever it is that comes at you that makes it worthwhile, that makes it go for as long as it as it can. Yeah. Yeah, but then who knows? Things happen. So basically, but then I don't those, count that as a personal no, no. soulmate then. No, no. But basically, what Remus is saying is that those boxes that were ticked when you met can be unticked along the way. Oh yeah. Because can. things yeah. can change. Yes. Yeah, they can. Yes. Yes. Definitely they can. We change, Definitely. we revolve, don't we? Yeah. We either upgrade or downgrade or whichever one it is, don't we? <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what they say about women? You know <laughs> what they say about women? Only. You know what they say about women? Why women? Why no, not no, people? Because he's a guy. No, no, no. I'll say Allow women him. first, then I'll say men. Oh, okay then. Yeah. This is interesting. If I had said people, then I would have had to split, split them. Anyway, okay. Let's say women <laughs> yeah. get into relationships with men um, in the hope that the, the men will change. Yeah. Men get into relationships with women yeah. and hope, well, in the hope that the women will stay the same. But that's not possible, is it? Yeah. Well, we say the same in inverted commas. Of course, there will be changes. Yeah. But you see, that um, the things that attract you to some women initially, yeah. after a while, those women don't want to do those things. Example, they want, they when want, you say I don't want they, to do those they, things, can you give me just, just one example, please? Just one. Mm. <clears throat> is it hard to get one? It's not hard to get. Oh, just say it. Say it as is it is. Is it something you can't say in the public eye? Well, <laughs> what, is it, <laughs> wait, hold on. If it's sexual, don't worry. No, it's no, an no, adult is, program. Well, quite a lot of things. It, oh. just de it, depends, on, it depends on... Do you mean like hanging out? In, individuals. I'm just doing okay, stuff. look at it. Um, let me make it slightly easy. Um... Initially, yeah. the woman is happy um, that the man is not out on the street every night. Well, it could be one of them. It could be one of them. He ticks her boxes because he ain't out on the street every night. Could be, um, though. Rose, yes. why are you why are you shying away from that particular one? Why are you, one? Why are you rejecting my suggestion? That's Being that's not street. out on the street every night. But because that's yeah. not that's not a box <laughs> for him to tick. That's not one of his boxes he it's wants that, to be ticked. <laughs> well, the woman is happy that the man is not out on the street every night. Yeah. Okay. And then he meets some friends. And then he doesn't change. He's still never out on the he's street. He's still never out on the street. She gets tired of him being at home every night. Him. She's yes, she gets tired. <laughs> so she's changed. But, yeah, she's changed. Now she thinks, what's he hanging about here at 24 hours of the day for? When his mates are making money. Well, not necessarily. I'm sure he will be making his money too, but usually. Um, <laughs> Do you know? I don't know why it is that I feel you're talking in some code or. I don't Remus know. always talks in a code, man. We're not doing Morse code here. No, Remus, Remus always talks in a code. I I was going to say, yeah. when they met, yeah. they used to like hanging out. Together. That's the easiest one. Yeah. Okay. Hanging out together. Yeah, go here, go there, whatever it is. And then down the line, it's not, yeah, life has taken over. Yeah. So there are other responsibilities and this and that. But then... She doesn't want to go anywhere no more. Okay. He doesn't go as much as he used to. Hold on, guys. We've got a caller coming through. Hi, good evening. Um, who am I speaking to, Blaze? Hi, Susie. It's Hello. DJ Abbas. How you doing? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Who am I speaking to, Blaze? It's DJ Abbas. Sorry? It's DJ Abbas. Oh, oh, hi, DJ hi. Abbas. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Wally. Hi, Sim Sim. Hi. <laughs> Abbas. I interesting conversation. Oh, thank you, honey. But what is your idea about what love is? Um, sorry, I didn't hear you clearly. What is your idea about what love is? What do you think love is? Wow. Um, I don't think there's any set definition for love because um, um, yeah. is it love for my wife? Is it love for my son? Is it love for my friend? I think love is about caring, yeah. in essence, um, caring and having affection. Uh, there are varying levels of affection depending on obviously um, 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 who you are directing love towards. Yeah. Um, and it comes in different temperatures. The irony of love is. A lot of people fall in love with certain with people, 
and things happen yeah. and they have the same corresponding level uh, level of hate at times oh. you know and that's part of the intricacy of love so you find two people who deeply care about each other and at some point you know you know, hate each other, and in some cases, they come back and start loving each other again. Yeah. So, but I think, yeah. in a general context, I'll just say love is about having affection, caring for any being or anything, really. In general, yeah. Abbas, can I ask you something? Yes, go on. So, would you say that those couples that were in love at one point yeah. broke up and came back together? Would you call such couples soulmates? Would I think? Would you call such couples soulmates? Um, I think being soulmates, it's a myth, really. I would. There's nothing like soul. I don't, I don't believe in soulmates. I think love, like anything else, has to be worked on. Yeah. Love does not exist in isolation. I think it's attached to so many factors as well. Mm -hmm. um, you find that at times people you love is due to certain factors that exist within them. Yeah. It could be, it could be the way they, you know, the way they react to you. It could be the way they look. It could be little things they do, and it varies. And if you've over, if over time, if you've kind of like falling in love with different people, you realize that different things attracted mm -hmm. you to different people. So I don't believe it, it, and the term soulmate suggests that perhaps everybody, um, in a spiritual kind of way, has somebody somewhere that has that, you know. Yeah. That's kind of designed for them as soulmates, but I don't think so. Yeah. I think, like anything else in this world, you meet somebody, and, and love is like, is like planting a seed. You need to water it, you need to grow it, yeah. uh, and it builds on from there. And like um, Wiley was referring to earlier as well, yeah. um, there are different stages, different stages of, 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 of love as well. And if you've been in a long relationship, say you've been married for 10, 12, 15 years, you realize your partner at different stages. You know, yeah. um, there also this a level of metamorphos metamorphosis, you know, maybe a, two years into the relationship, yeah. it changes. Maybe when you have children, it changes a bit again. Maybe when you get um, your job description can change. So financially, so many things change yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it's something yeah. that needs to be watered, needs to be fed, needs to be nurtured. Yeah. To develop and get better. And for some people, it just doesn't work. Maybe they don't connect. That and it just doesn't work. And yeah. at some, maybe the things that brought them together, yeah. maybe at some point disappeared and the love went along with that. You know, So it varies from people to people, I'd, I'd say. Wow. Wow, Abbas. Thank you so, so much for that. And My pleasure. And before you go, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Go on. When are you joining me on this sofa, honey? <laughs> so Sooner than you can imagine, my dears. Very, very, very soon. You know the way Fridays don't work too well for me in my job description, but it's going to happen sooner rather than later. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you so my much. My pleasure. For in. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Abbas. I won't ask what you guys said while Abbas was talking. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, you've got cameras on. <laughs> you're in, you're, you, you are now in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Every word that you say is picked up. Never mind. I hope you it's said fine. something. It I was, hope you said something like that. It was totally appropriate. There was not, not, nothing on to us. Yeah, I hope you weren't like whispering words of love to her. <laughs> I'll be telling you anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Um, no, do I you, agree. Uh, I agree with DJ about the soulmate thing because I do believe that couples that break up and come back together again and stuff, there is something that brings them back. There is something that constantly brings you back. And there's still something there. There's that still something there, and that's why I believe that there is there is a soulmate. So you guys, at this point, when it comes to that part, because like Abbas just said, you have couples. I know a few couples that um, have been together, mm -hmm. broken up, Definitely. stayed apart for years. The guy's yeah. gone off and had, you know, a girlfriend or a few. Even the woman's. I know, a couple, too. I, know, I know a couple <laughs> that the lady, oh, had, the lady had another child okay. while they were separated. And everybody nearly had a heart attack when they came back together and actually done another wedding and have been together since about 10 years now. So, and so, so that is where, Abbas, sorry, we might agree with you because... Such people, we might call them soulmates I because, call them soulmates. in spite of the situation and what was going on that they were not happy with, that led them to part ways, something still brought them back. Yeah. Those boxes were ticked again. Yeah. And they came back together. Exactly. I, I do believe and in soulmates, actually. And I suppose, you know. It just, it just means that the 
basic things that actually brought them together in the first, the first place, place never left. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so romantic. Yeah. I feel like crying. Don't cry. You're crying already <laughs> anyway. Uh, am I? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what about... I like the way Revis dropped that. Oh, no, he's so already. bad, actually. Oh. What about... Okay, so you, we talk about soulmates and we talk about what is love. What about those people that say, oh, it was love at first sight, that... You know, we saw each other in the crowd and all No, the hold sudden. on, Simon, you're jumping the gun here. But because I'm just I actually wanted to ask you guys, and in my head, I'm, I, do you know what? I was thinking, who do I ask first? Okay. And I was like, no, but I think I don't want to seem too hard on Remis, right? Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> you, know, don't worry. I, you know, Remis is my brother. I still have to have him in my life after the show oh, as well. So uh, I don't want anything that will take uh, a surprise. Uh, Simi, you've destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Simi, no, do you know what? When it comes to love, Remis, there's something about women. And you know, I'm so happy that a guy was the first person to phone me in. Me too, actually. Because me too. when it comes to love, guys are always like, mm. yeah. but you know, macho and all that. But no, Simi, you tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? And what is it? I don't believe in love at first sight, actually. Mm. I believe that when you see somebody and you you like them instantly and you think oh that's such a wonderful person you don't know them you just see the physical outside and so i think it's more about dare i say lust you know what uh, I mean? oh but that's making it a bit sordid no, when you it, say no, that no, 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 it's true, it's because true. some of them it's get a nice english word you know lust is not a nice word no, it's quite it is. It's, it's, no, it's, it's lust it's, a nice word it's, 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 it's a lovely nice, word Go it's check a nice the word but lust is a sin no. No, no, no. Isn't it? No. I think it depends no, it isn't. on. To be Lots honest, to do with sex, isn't it? No, no, no. no. For me, it's more about the attraction. It doesn't yeah, necessarily mean you want to you, sleep. You're going to sleep with that person. But if or you, you want lust to sleep after with someone, no. what does that mean? We're going to be grabbing a dictionary here because <laughs> you guys. Are for changing. me, for me, lust <laughs> is about wow. That person's real. You know, that person looks nice. So do you lust He's, after people? Do well, you, yeah, of course. I'm not going to sit here and say no. I don't think I do. Don't well, fib. Then, no, seriously. Well, it depends on what interpretation you've given the word lust. Yeah, so there's nothing you're going to take it any further. For me, there's, for me, I, yeah. I've said it before. Yeah, go on. I keep saying it. Go on. There's nothing like love at first sight. Well, for me. I don't know but about then, other people. But then, I don't what, do, what would you say about... Do you say that because you haven't experienced it or you actually believe that there is no such thing as... Love at first sight. No, well, you, for, that's what I'm saying. You for can't me, love somebody at first about, sight. I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but I can't love somebody that I've just met or I've just seen. Just seen. Yeah. You know what foresight means? It means you haven't spoken to them. You mm. don't know them. Yeah. You just they've just walked past or they're standing there and you look at them and it's like, so, whoosh. Oh, oh, you're in love. Mm. Yes, you're attracted to them. Exactly. You're lusting after you're them. You're actually very much attracted to them. Yeah, you which is to, the last. Sometimes you might not even be able to take the next step. What's that? You haven't spoken to them. What's the next step? Speaking to them. You I haven't spoken to them. <laughs> I just want to know what the next step is, yeah. right? You haven't Speaking spoken to, to them. them. They're Speaking standing them. there. Yeah. And you say, oh. Excuse me, please. I think, I think you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that love at first sight? You actually look familiar. <laughs> is that is this <laughs> familiar? So you're so bad, familiar. You know, you're so bad, is that you know. is that love at first sight? <laughs> you know, okay. So I think I agree with Bemis actually. Dare I say right. that? Yeah, you, know, you see somebody and you think, wow, but you haven't spoken to that person, and so therefore you don't know if that person ticks your boxes. Because for me, one of the things to tick my boxes is the guy's brain. Can I ask you a question when you say that? You can. Supposing <coughs> the person's box is physical appearance and that is their only box. That's regardless of how yeah. you regardless of how you might think, oh that's shallow of a person or something. But supposing the one box that is tick that needs to be ticked for that person is appearance. And so it's that appearance that makes them fall in love with someone. That's the word, fall in love. Yeah, so it's love at first sight. They've seen the person <laughs> no, it's attraction. and they've fallen in love with that person. It's attraction, it's lust, it's want. It's like, I want to know more. Yeah. And that person's really attractive to me. But that isn't love. Love is more about what grows. Mm. Love has to grow. It's not something that you you just plant it's not, it's and it's there. It's, it's not instantaneous. No, it's not insta instantaneous. Do you know what? I can't even I say that word, actually. I actually agree with you. <laughs> uh? It's too long, is it? <laughs> I can't the word. say the word instantaneous. Do you know what? I actually agree with you. When I was younger, I thought I fell in love with Michael Jackson at first sight <laughs> because I saw him on TV and it was instant love. And I won't lie to you, that love lasted for a long time, mm. right? 
I thought it was love. It grew along the way. Every time I saw him on TV, more and more. Like, oh my god. Infatuation. Was that infatuation? Mm. Mm. Go, I, don't know, I, I don't know if that's infatuation. No, it's a crush, know. actually. It's a it's crush. A crush. It's, it's a, more of it's a, a crush. But no, now that you say that, I'll tell you a little story. This guy, this was before the days of Facebook, you know. This was, I think, what, what did we have before Facebook? MySpace, was it? Did we? I didn't know. There was something before Facebook. I only did Facebook. Yeah, High really. five. <laughs> was there nothing with pictures before then? Ooh. High five. I never those, done high fives. came in about the same time. No, they came um, before Facebook. I remember Casey sending me high fives before Facebook. Oh yeah, okay. That's yeah, cool. yeah. High five, high five, and something else was before Facebook. But no, anyway, these guys met. Was well, Skype before Facebook? It was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Skype. Yeah, yeah. It was. Skype these was. guys met, and um, they were talk. They sent pictures to each other. They started talking. I don't know how they met, but they started yeah. talking, and um, the guy decided he was in love. She had sent him pictures, they'd been sending emails, they were talking regularly on the phone. They yeah. were, oh my God, it was like, guy, <laughs> you need to calm down because the girl was actually living in um, Canada, that was it. Okay. And um, so after about, I think it was after about two and a half years, they decided, you know what, enough is enough. Let's, girl, yeah, you come let's over, up. let's meet up, come over. That's why I think it was before the days of even Skype. So she was like, okay, so they arranged it. And I think she sent half the travel money, the ticket money for her to come over. Okay. And um, she came over, I need to, I don't want to laugh, but um, so he went to the airport with his friends. Yeah, looking for somebody else. And um, <laughs> they got to the airport, a flight came in and then, you know, as people were still, you know, streaming in. It's thinking, where is she? Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> Are you sure she's on the flight? And uh, meanwhile, she sent him this picture where she was a size 10, you know, yeah. really nice figure. It's like, oh, where is she? And all of a sudden, this lady comes up to him, like a size 22, about my size. <laughs> <laughs> she was meant to be similar size. But did she have the and same face? Different face, wait. Right. Same face, sorry, same. Hi, buddy, it's me, Cynthia. I've changed the names, though. Of course. Hi, buddy, it's me, Cynthia. Buddy's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, sorry, who did you say you are? It's me, Cynthia. We've been talking on the phone all this time. I was like, you're not the person in the pictures. Oh, yeah, that was me a few years ago. I, I just never sent you a recent one. No, but this is a true story, seriously. But it's sad, But this though. still happens till today. Yeah, it does. I know. Have you been watching Catfish? Where yeah, people fall in love. Catfish is a program where people fall in love with people on the internet. Okay. They fall in love. They're talking. I mean... There's some really weird ones. There's some strange ones. There's this girl who was talking to Bow Wow. And her and Bow Wow were talking, yeah? But Bow Wow sent her, over a period of three times, $10,000. Okay. So she got to this point, well, whenever they wanted to talk on Skype or anything like that, she'll be like, no, no, no. He'll be like, no, no, I'm busy. I'm going into the studio. I'm going for film. I'm going that. So she called up Catfish, and they were like, right, let's go and find Bow Wow. Yeah. They got to the house. They found Bow Wow, but the only thing was, Bow Wow was not the same Bow Wow we think he is. Okay. Bow Wow was a woman. Oh. Huh? Hello? Oh. Sorry, it seems like we've got a call coming in. Hi, good evening. Hi, I do apologize. It's DJ Hello, Abbas again. I hope I'm not monopolizing the line. Sorry, I think I've lost that. But yeah. So when you say that it happens in this day and age, you are 100% right. But the but thing about it, me, no, no, no. But no, the but thing wait, about I just it, want to ask you something. It's the appearance. But wait, it's she for she was in love for four years. For four years of her life, yeah. she was in love with Bauer. So are you telling me that she was infatuated or in lust for four years? The difference with that That's scenario grown. and the first one is that they've spent... A couple of years, yeah. a couple of weeks, a couple of months talking. So she's fell in love with the character. With yeah. the character. Yeah. That, that she's fell in love with what she knows about the person. About the person. Hi, sorry. The, the other one that... Sorry, Rem, it seems like we have a call coming in. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, so it's, who am I speaking to? It's DJ Abbas again. Hi, Abbas. <laughs> I do apologise if it appears a bit I'm monopolising the line. That's fine. Love at first sight. The oh, biggest, yes. myth, the biggest myth in the world. It gets what? Myth. Myth? Myth. Yes. It's a myth. Do you think so? Yeah, my sister, there is nothing like first live or love at first sight. What you can have is an intense feeling of 
of, of passion at seeing somebody for the first time. Okay. Because when you meet somebody for the first time, what attracts you first and foremost physical. is the physical. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that is very true. Yeah. And on the basis of the physical, it's almost impossible to define that as love. Because that person can open their mouth and by the same way with which you are attracted, exactly. you get turned off. When you run a mile. So, really, love at first. But of course, if it works out, it's a fantastic story. Yes. So, but, but when it doesn't, and usually it doesn't, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Very true, Thank you very much. But, 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 sorry, so are you saying that if it does work out, it's still not, they have a night, it's still not love at first sight? Like I said earlier when I called, yeah. love is not something, something you have to build and nurture. Yeah. It's not something that comes ready-made. Mm. And love at first I suggest is ready-made. Yeah. Yeah. You really need to grow into somebody and build together yeah. and build that intensity that comes with love over time. Mm. Yeah. But you can see somebody for the first time, you know, and lust over them, yes. That happens. And lust is not a bad word. Lust is a word that has been made bad by the Bible and other religious books. Oh. Love, lust is actually defined as intense passion. Yeah. So, but then if you're lusting over somebody for the wrong reasons, then it's bad. <laughs> so, ain't, ain't so nothing wrong with lust. <laughs> yeah, I like that. But that's, what, that's what a lot of people do. Oh, Abbas. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, honey. My Thank pleasure. You. Have a good show. I'm watching. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, darling. Thank you. Oh, I just love that. That is such, a, that is such an original definition of it. Seriously. But you know what? So all this my dream of meeting someone and falling in love at first sight is not happening. No, no, no. Falling in love, yes. I'm love at first sight, no. No, no, no. I'm waiting for love at first sight, mate. So you're doing, the, you're doing the princess bit. You're doing the, I want to be a princess with my prince on his white horse charging up and sweeping me off my feet. And no, not a white me. horse, a white Bentley. Oh, well, oh yeah, same sorry. Same. <laughs> Get but it right. It's still the same, though. Same thing. It's still, it just right, depends on what century. No, there is a difference. The it's Bentley <laughs> takes petrol, the horse takes grass. <laughs> guess, okay, it gets, it gets I'll give you the white Bentley. A to B. Is, and the horse ain't getting me in no style. <laughs> My hair might fly all over the place. The Bentley, I love the air That adds to the intrigue. <laughs> but I, I, I agree with DJ Bass. I, yeah. I do think it is, you know, intense lightness, intense whatever it is. Yeah. But it isn't love at first sight. You mm. know what I mean? It's something that is going to grow. And with time. Yeah, very oh, much yeah. so. And Definitely. like what I was trying to say before is like, you know, I might see a guy like you asked me before. Yeah. And I might mm -hmm. think, wow. And then the guy opens his mouth and I'm kind of like down there. Wow. And the guy's see over you there. Later. Because I can't be doing it. Yeah. If the guy hasn't got a brain, I'm out the door. You know what I mean? So a brain is something that ticks one of your boxes. It, ticks, it kind of like takes up a lot of my is box, it? actually. How many boxes have you got? I've got quite a few, and but it, definitely, <laughs> definitely, you know God. what I mean? It takes up like a <laughs> it takes, it a it takes about 70% of my oh box, God, actually. Oh, God, no, no, that's true. <laughs> I need some assistance here from Michael. <laughs> 70%. So, wow. No, what Abbas has just said is kind of like <laughs> thrown me because I won't lie to you, I've never experienced love at first sight before, but I did think that it did exist for some people. Have you ever come across somebody that said they have experienced it? People say it. Yes, well, I people, have. People, people say it. I have. I've heard people, people say, say it, but it. when they sit down and analyse it, or they explain what they mean, it yeah. isn't love at first sight. You think sight. it's not love at first no, sight? Yeah. I, 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 you know, people say it, but it isn't love at first sight. It is that attraction. It is but that then, can I just wanting to get to know you more yes. and all that business. Strong attraction, first thing. Okay. Can I just ask you guys something quickly? Yeah. Who are we to say that it's not love at first sight well, for them? See, we're saying no, that. I'm just we're asking. That from, if somebody. I, okay, I'm saying that from my perspective. Yeah. From mine too. That's what I said initially. Yeah. I said, personally. But then why won't you believe someone else if they say to you, I went through this experience and you're going to say, not possible, it's not no, no, love no. at first sight. What I've asked, what I said just now was, the people that I know that have said 
oh, they experienced love at first sight. Yes. Mm. We've, had, we've had a talk. Mm. And what they've described isn't love at first sight. I guess it's going to it's gonna depend on everyone's definition of, of love at first sight, isn't it? Or it depends on everybody's going back to the very original question, what is love? What is love? Because it, it's going back to that. Yeah. You know, so if that person thinks that... Um, what they've experienced is love at first sight, mm. then their definition of love clearly isn't ours oh, they're, on they're, this panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. you know? it's just definitely. No, it means no, they have a different it's, idea. It's, de it's definitely, oh, yes. definitely not ours, I'll tell you that. It's definitely, you know? oh, God. That, it's actually been a massive insight to me because I think I had a dummy version of what love is. Um, can I ask you... Two of you, a personal question each. Is that right. possible? Do you mind? Go. This time I'm going to go straight to Simi. Yeah, I'm a bit more, mm, less, a bit... less combative. Yeah. How did you guess? <laughs> you're going to give the, me a bad name, I, you know? I keep Please. the battle. No, no, it's a lovely battle. Gonna, Don't worry, gonna, honey. Gonna no, name. no, no, it's a lovely battle, Remis. <laughs> it's a lovely battle. Have you ever been in love? Yeah. Yeah. How did it feel for you? If somebody was to say... Describe how you feel when you're in love. How would you describe it? it? I felt happy when it was, when I was having good days with the person or yeah. when I understood the rules. Because as far as I'm concerned, love is about rules. When you enter a relationship with somebody, there are rules and regulations that you set out for each other, either verbally or non-verbally. Yeah. So once I understand the rules, then I'm happy. But when the rules change, then I'm not happy. You know what I mean? So I have up and down days, really. But love in itself, it's about me wanting to still be with that person, that person still being in my life, whether, yeah. whether they're doing, you know, acting according to the rules that we've got or not. Yeah. So you love I mean? really is about, like you said, seeing written and unspoken yeah, rules. Definitely. That you kind of get to understand as you grow together. Exactly. About this is how the relationship's going to function. This is what my expectation is. This is what ticks my boxes and that you said to me you're going to tick because yeah. I asked you at the beginning and you said you're going to... So when you meet someone I and do. you find that you are now in love, do you say to them, right, it seems like we are falling in love. No. <laughs> Wait, let me finish. No. Let me finish my... Wait, let me finish my question. Let me finish my question. I'm just picturing you here. So you've gone for dinner. They've gone for dinner. And so yeah, yeah. sitting there, right. Darling, I think we need to talk. It seems like we have fallen in love. Right. There are some written rules. Yeah. I understand, and I think we both understand the unwritten ones because we've got this far because we have obeyed the unwritten ones. Yeah. Right, let's deal with the written ones. And so you now say to the person, this is what I expect from you, this is what I don't expect from you. Or how do you put those rules No, across? I would, for me, those, the rules of engagement is the best way for me to term it, really. <laughs> the rules of engagement. That, that sounds like a war. That, yeah, it's, 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 it sounds like combat for yeah. stuff. Yeah. Sounds like a war. Rules of engagement. The rules of engagement for me, basically, um, I would have kind of like started to tell the person along the way. Okay, so, so you slip I'm, it in every I would now slip and it again. in, yeah, because I'm giving you an opportunity to run if you want to run now. So, for example, the person's driving down the road this is just a simple yeah one. yeah yeah driving down the road and the speed limit is 70 and they're going 90 honey i don't like men that drive at 90 you need to stick within the speed limit yeah otherwise end of relationship wait i want to hear how revis puts Go it then, revis. there's such a way of putting it revis <laughs> you're going too fast they're going too fast. So you don't even let the person know that if he continues going too fast, it could be the end of the relationship. Why would, why would but you, that's not but that's not fair. No, 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 no. But you would have a conversation. You, would, I think, at the beginning, After you while, would say they will understand yeah. that one of the things that you do not like is them speeding excessively. You don't need to tell them that. Oh, okay. If they continue doing that. You're out of the door. No, no, but you do, you know. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do. You, you do don't. You don't. I'm if thinking. That, only if it's a time. Only if that's a breaker uh, of unless, a relationship. No, no, but hold on. If you're in a relationship, right? And let's say I'm thinking now, black people, time. You know, timekeeping <laughs> time is one of our poor points. Do you get <laughs> my me? greatest poor but, point? <laughs> that, you know, I'm just as bad at the best of times. 
And then you've got a guy going out with, let's say, a lady that has grown up in the UK and is used to, you know, yeah. if you need to be oh, here at culture. seven, yeah. you're here at 10 to seven, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And next thing, you have situations where the guy comes on the third day and the lady says, babes, this is not going to work. If you're going to be coming late all the time, I can't see this relationship working. That's it happens. Yeah, but that, that's, that's on the third day. That's on the third time. <laughs> that's not the first not, time driving down the motorway. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's no, like, I was just using that as yeah, an example. Yeah, but that's what even I'm on a date. Is, third date. Yeah, so you've already given them a rule. Listen, that is the beginning of the relationship by the third date. So you've already no, given them a rule that, listen, this lateness thing, it's not going to work for us. The thing about it for me is that before, <laughs> before we even... I think, me, I think I've thrown Remis oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> for me, very much, is before I even start the relationship, I'm kind of like already dropping in. Oh, so you drop the rules I to begin with. I do drop the rules. I do drop the rules because you know what? I want peace. <laughs> so I'm already dropping the rules. I'm already saying... This is what I'm, I would like. This, this is what, what I don't like. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm looking for, you know. Because I want that person to make a clear choice about where they want to go and with And a it. conscious effort. Yeah, and a conscious effort. Now, if you don't feel able to do that, then it, isn't, it doesn't make sense us getting into a situation where we actually start to like each other. But you already like each other. No, only on a, on a I like on you. A, on, a, on the surface. On the surface, not I'm in a relationship. Once I get into a relationship, then I've got a bit of a problem. I mean, what I know is, what I'm used to, I should say, is Nigerian men. I've yeah. never gone out with anybody from another country in my well, life. Well, I actually. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> but, um, and with Nigerian men, you know, you get somebody chatting you up, and next thing you get a phone call, and, hi, hi, my wife. You'd be like, what? <laughs> They started the relationship for you already. <laughs> no, but have you never experienced yeah, that before? Yeah, but it's before? for you to then kind of like... Oh, yeah, back, I'm back like, slightly. hello, can we rewind? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> slow down. S yeah. S slow, slow down. But, Remus, have you never done that before? Have you never met someone and decided, you know what, this is the... Per well, you have, because you met someone that, was gonna, that ticked all your boxes. And so you were in love at a very quick stage, were you? Or did it develop over time? Hmm. <laughs> he doesn't want to. I love it. I've never had Remus in this. But he's gonna kill me after oh, this show. Over, over time, but then the time was it a quick time or yeah, quick time? Like what? Two weeks? One month? I will be telling. Okay, you. I'll stop there. Okay, mm, quick mm. time. Oh, guys, do you know what? 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 Do you know what? I'm sorry to say <laughs> this, but the time has flown, oh, and we only have about two minutes left. Oh, do we? Gosh, that but was I so hope. enjoyable. That was fast. That was so enjoyable. Do you know, there's something I say to people that when you sit on their sofa with me, time actually flies. Mm. And I think... We, <laughs> that is true. I thought it would have, it would have uh, been 25 minutes gone. <laughs> you thought you, thought oh, you yeah. had more torture to go. Yeah. No, there you go. Miss, no, but you know what, guys? I'm going to say a massive and a big... Massive and big in the same sentence. That works, though, doesn't it? Right, it does. Yeah. I'm going to say a massive and That's a, a double big... Dutch. Double Dutch, right. But a she's double. not a literature teacher or an English teacher. Oh, Allow forget that. that. Massive and big, say that. Forget that. I'm still going to say a massive and big thank you to you guys. I'm not, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying don't say that. I'm actually encouraging you to say Oh, you're encouraging oh, yes. you. Thank you, thank you. So I will say it again. And just as we end, could I... Get the both of you, after we've had this discussion, just give me your definitions of love each. And I'll start with Simi again. I've got this thing about starting with Remis. <laughs> <laughs> love Go is a partnership me. that um, two people grow together and um, wish to stay, stay together and become a unit. That's what love is for me. Thank you. I wish I had more time. I was going to point out to you that there are some love triangles for, yeah, there's such a thing as love triangles more than because she, she said two people. Sometimes it's more because than two. Because it is about two but that's people. Another, sometimes it's more than two. I don't think but she then, does <laughs> two people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Remis. Remis, and you, what's your idea of love? Love is. <laughs> well, <laughs> love is being comfortable with your choices, with yourselves. Yeah, actually, that's a good one, actually. Mm. Everything. Everything that you can actually think about, um, the positives, the negatives, everything in the whole box, it comes out as a package. 
um, when you're comfortable with everything as a package, yeah, that is love. Depending, mm -hmm. um, depending on if we're still talking about couples. <laughs> not, Sorry. not try them. Sorry to slip that in towards the end. <laughs> no. Thank that's, you. that's a very, that's a good, I like that. That is, no, I think the both of you gave a good definition. You know, for me, I believe that love is always going to be something personal. It's going to be a feeling that all of us as human beings do not have any control over. It's not something that we can switch off and on. Mm. You know, we meet people, we can't help who we fall in love with. No. And it's also good to know that we can't help who we fall out of love with. We can. You know, we can't sometimes, you can't help falling out of love with someone. No, 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 no. I'm can't. not talking about falling out of love, I'm talking about falling in love. But sometimes you can't help falling in love, it creeps on you. If you don't start, you can't fall in love. But sometimes you don't plan to fall in How can we be no. having this conversation at the end of the show? <laughs> We're we not. At the end of the show, guys. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. But, you know, we need to continue this conversation. We sometime. definitely do. Honestly. <laughs> in honestly. Months, in two months' time, what, you want a break? <laughs> <laughs> Was it that bad, Remy? Yeah, yeah, oh, no. It. Listen. Thank you so much. A big thank you, DJ Abbas. You know I love you to bits. Thank oh, you yeah. so much for that. That was really, really helpful. And it was an eye-opener because it changed my perception a bit. Simi, Remis, thank you so much, guys. I've really enjoyed having you here with thank me you. on Realities. Well, thank you for having us. Thank Next you time, me. get some ACs. Oh, yeah, oh, we will. <laughs> we believe. will. The ACs come really in Remis. Bad. It's usually, Remis, it's usually <laughs> freezing cold. All of a sudden, this summer weather is just... Taken over. Oh, wait, 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 but I wasn't supposed to say that. You can say what you want. Don't listen to me. It's a free world. You know I'm a free person. Say it how you feel. It is my view. But no, guys, thank you very much for watching. And do you know what? I love it when I have guests on the show that are just totally free with themselves. Thank you so thank much. You. And a big thanks to the production team. Bless them. Yeah, thanks for the thank team. They rock. You thank rock. You and good night. Good night. <laughs>